Hello everybody, it is me, Embrix, and so it's uh, time to start uh, packing my last three sets that I have not packed yet. It is the Quickie Mart, the Death Star, that one's going to be hard to pack and rebuild, and the last one being the UCS X-Wing Starfighter. So right now you're seeing the Quickie Mart, and the Quickie Mart, um, all the bags I'm just mixing together into one big one for the X-Wing, since um, I'm obviously doing a voiceover for the footage. The X-Wing, um, I've kind of separated the bags, though not completely. And then for the Death Star, um, in the middle of the whole Death Star process, I decided what I'd do is I'd clear all the rooms first and then do the structure. So I cleared all the rooms, but then I remember, like, I always see um, photos and videos of people going in and customizing the Death Star, so I decided to do that. So I stopped after clearing out all the rooms of the Death Star, and then uh, I'm going to customize it with a bunch of Marvel superheroes minifigures, and City minifigures, some Star Wars, and Jago, just a bunch of different types, and I'm going to make a roller coaster going through the thing, maybe a water slide, uh, and a lot of small stuff like that, and on top of that, I'm going to add in a, a shopping mall, and little things like that, that I've seen a lot of other people do, so... I think that would be pretty fun because uh, I've actually seen one of my friends do that. He had a Death Star when he was young. Like when it first came out, he got it. And then uh, over the years, he, um, a lot of the structure even is gone as well as all the interior. So then he just decided to customize it because he couldn't uh, salvage the pieces to remake it. And then I decided I wanted to do that. But uh, my customization is not going to be permanent. Like, I'm going to use very bright pieces. Like, the Death Star is mainly dark gray, gray, and black. And I'm going to use bright pieces like pink, orange, flame orange, uh, purple, blue, uh, so that I know exactly what I added so that I can take it out. So it's going to be really colorful because I definitely want to have the original Lego design Death Star. And it's not going to be a permi uh, permanent uh, customization. It's just I'm going to put all the pieces and then make a video on it and then take uh, all the pieces I added back and then take the Death Star apart to rebuild it um, after the move. So um, that's one of the things that I've decided to do with the Death Star. And um, I'm just doing this commentary so that you guys don't get bored of watching the rest of the pictures so um i've still got to do the review on the lego movie 2 happy meal toys and i'm still thinking of doing it for the power functions motor set which i got but um so for instructions the only thing i've done in my city of instruction wise because i have a lot of mocks which stands for my own creation and i've done that obviously from my head and just my own pieces so i don't have instructions for those so what i've decided to do is add a piece and take a picture basically uh, work backwards so if there's a car I take off the roof and everything like that the tires and then figure out how to remake it and then uh, put one piece down take a picture and then another picture uh, piece and then take another picture kind of like stop motion and then I make myself instructions uh, so for instructions all I've done so far is I've started on the road for my city if you've seen my city um, I've started on the road and then I've done the clothes store and uh, I've still got all the city stuff to do, and my contest of champions mocks, my Hoth mock, um, I've got my Avengers Tower mock, so I got a lot of mocks that I have to make instructions for. So, um, basically, uh, by the end of this video, all I'll have left is the structure of the Death Star, and all of my mocks, and then just my pieces, but the pieces are easy, like, for my smaller number of pieces, like, I organize all my pieces by color, and then some by, like, uh, food and stuff like that, by category, so, um, I'm gonna, like, make a, a small ziplock bag with pink and stuff like that, and then if I have a lot of, say, black pieces, then I'll have one of those gallon ziplock bags filled with the black pieces, so that's, um, that's going to be easy just after I finish through the... I think the hardest thing is going to be to make instructions for uh, the rest of my sets in the uh, my mock city. So, um, this, uh, this video is, uh, like, I've actually done the time lapses, then I've made uh, other videos uh, to add to the video, just of me showing the room, and now I'm doing the voiceover. And in between making this video, I've made my in-depth thoughts on the Spider-Man Far From Home sets. So, 
uh, I think the Spider-Man Far From Home uh, in depth thoughts would be published first and then this video. So, um, I probably have two minutes left of uh, the commentary before the v this uh, time last footage ends. Oh, uh, one last thing is after. Um, so, uh, the Death Star will be included, like, taking out the interior of the Death Star will be included in this video, but then, uh, after I'm done with, uh, customizing it myself, I'm gonna, and then taking all my customizations out, uh, when I take apart the structure, I'm gonna have that time last video of taking apart the structure plus the one that shows at the end of this video of me taking out the interior so that you could uh see the whole death star taken apart not just the structure but the structure and the interior after i combine the footage so um i'm gonna do a video of that where i can take the whole death star apart and the, the death star is around four thousand pieces at least the one i have the 2008 version so it's gonna be super hard to build because bags build upon each other like each bag uh has like let's say 300 pieces in it um for the initial building but now that the bags build on top of each other i have no way of separating the bags so it's just gonna have to be me looking through four thousand around pieces and just having to rebuild it like that so it's gonna be hard to rebuild uh just like the quickie mart and ninjaga city is harder than original but still i think the hardest thing to rebuild will be the death star and uh, they don't really use that many interesting techniques it's more like stair building with the blocks and other stuff like that like there's some cool technic stuff so it's gonna also be kind of boring but now that the footage is over i'm just gonna leave you with the rest of these time lapsed footage and then uh over to the other video that i made into this longer video Okay, so I trashed a couple more tables, um, and yeah, there were two over there that I trashed, so now my city and mocks are just here, and then a bit of my figures, and then there's the Death Star, and I'm keeping the structure so I can customize it a bit, and then here's my wall of Lego sets. So yeah, the Death Star is the last set to pack, but um, I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna get a small shipment out right now. Um, of just a bunch of Lego sets, just a small shipment now. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you liked it, and if you did, please subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Hello there, everybody. I'm Brooks here, and it na has now been 52 hours of just straight packing, not including breaks. So, uh, after like every huge packing session, I try to clean up my studio a little bit in the trash can. I got a, I emptied out my trash that was previously full of Lego bags, and now it just has a bunch of Ziploc bag um boxes. So here I got my Ziploc bags, my tray, my Death Star that I'm still waiting to customize on. You can see how this changes. So previously, I've cleared out eight tables that are this size, like this. And then I had and uh, one table that is two of these combined. So that with that uh, one table that is two of these combined is in another room right now. Though I bring in all the other eight tables to create, and I'm about to show it, shelving. Uh, this might have been in the thumbnail, but yeah. Uh, I just stack these up on top of each other. So yeah, obviously it takes a lot less space if we flatten down the boxes and then put the sets into Ziploc bags. So that's what I've done because um, to ship it all, you know, this is a lot less space. You remember the wall of boxes if you follow me and now look just how small it is. This could all fit into like what, one and then if all of this becomes pieces in bags, maybe two Ziploc bags. So this is like shelving with all the sets and then those box sets that uh, a lot of them i haven't opened yet and then my boxes and then my instruction manuals then down here will be the space for once i take down my or, or once i make instructions for all these mocks so yeah just a quick little update though it was like six 
no, four hours of work, no, six, yeah, six hours of work, but now I got shelving, and I was just watching some things there, so yeah, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it, and if you did, please subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll talk to you again soon, bye.